Hello, welcome. Today we are going to draw a uh, 3D for starting from a uh, photo. Okay? It is a uh, very interesting 3D lesson. The command we are going to use will be image command. This command allows us to insert image into AutoCAD. And then a nine command allow us to adjust the size of the image and rotation of the image. We also have the extrude command to give 2D object thickness and the 3D rotate command to rotate a model in 3D. Finally, the intersect command will take the intersection of two solid objects in AutoCAD. Okay, let's get started. First, you should take a picture of the fog. Okay, for example, the top view and the side view, just like that. Okay, after that, we should do is insert it into AutoCAD. Okay, so I type the command IM for image, spacebar, and then click on the triangle here and select image okay I select the fourth side open and no need to change anything just okay click anywhere and spacebar to finish okay and then spacebar to repeat last command select the second one open and okay and just put it for example here and space bar to finish. Good. So that's the first step. I already measured the length of the fork, which is 170 millimeter. So I draw a nine, click, and put it horizontal 170 space bar to finish. Okay. And then I type CO for copy and L for last object and spacebar just click and click below okay maybe somewhere make sure it is vertical okay just like that spacebar to finish we are going to use a nine command to adjust the size of the fork because you, the image of course the size the length is not correct so we need to adjust it to make it 170 millimeter. At the same time, when we take picture of the fog, you might rotate your camera a bit, things like that. So it is not horizontal. It's better we draw everything horizontal so we can easily do mirror. We need to rotate the image. For that, this command and I do them both okay first it will ask you the f first source point and then first destination point which will be the left side of the fork to be first source point left side of the knife to be the destination point okay I show you now so AL for a knife space bar select the fork. When you select image, make sure you click on the edge, not inside. You can't select it from inside. Click on the edge and then spacebar. Now AutoCAD asks you for so first source point. To learn AutoCAD well, make sure you always read what AutoCAD is asking you. Okay. Now zoom in. I just click uh, more or less the middle of the fork somewhere here okay and then move it down that will be the first destination point okay and the right side here in the middle will, the, will be the second source point and then second destination point and spacebar make sure you type yes so it scale it down okay now you see the length of fork is 170 and at the same time it will take correctly for you okay so now I work on the side view 
It's easier for me to align the side view if I draw a line. I show you. So I draw a line first. I somewhere match here. This is the first point. I make sure it is horizontal. Okay. And then this corresponding end point here. Okay. Maybe I zoom in closer. So I will hold the shift key so to make it horizontal. Okay. So I click and space bar to finish. Then we will do the align. So AL space bar. Select the image by the edge. Space bar. First source point over here. First destination point here. Okay. And then second source point on the right side. Second destination point on the right side. Make sure you press space bar and then yes for scale length. Okay. Now I zoom in. You can see the length is now 170. Next thing to do is to trace the profile. Okay, I will use Polyline to do so. I zoom in. Then I will trace the profile by Polyline command. So Polyline when you do tracing, it's better you turn these options off. Object snap, tracking, things like that. Make it easier for you to select any point you want. Okay? So I turn them off and start from this point, I click. Okay? And then I will just do this one. Just like that. Just click, click. Okay? Click, click. Just like that. Good. Just click. Mm. So along the profile. I will just draw half of it of course. So I can do mirror later. Okay. So maybe somewhere here. And then. Okay. Mm, just like that. I'll make sure it is vertical at the end. So I hold the shift key and click anywhere. Space bar to finish. Good. Now I can hide the image. Click on the image. Right click. Isolate. Hide object. I also want to hide the knife, so click the knife, right click, isolate, hide object. Okay. Then I will do mirror, MI space bar, select, space bar, and click on this. Make sure this time object snap should be on, polar things like that should be on now. Okay. So click here. Move it horizontally, click again, space bar to finish. Now I need to clean up the line at the end. Okay, just click, click it, just click and move it down here. Okay, just like that. Now I can join them by J, J, space bar, select both, space bar to finish. Okay. You can see the edge is not smooth. So to make it smooth, we do this. We double click on the polyline. Double click. AutoCAD will call up the command polyline edit. And then you select spine. Okay, it looks better now. Space bar to finish. Okay, now I will work on the side view. Again, polyline. Zoom in, start from here, or oh, before that I will turn this off so that it's easier for me to select the point I want. I will start from here, click, click, okay, just like that. I think this is the edge, okay. 
so just like that okay so just select just click it okay just like that yeah sometimes it's very hard to see the night yeah but this is okay so then okay just like that and then okay so here there and there click click if you like AutoCAD this job will be good will be interesting but if you don't like AutoCAD this will be a tedious job okay <laughs> so click and for me I of course I like AutoCAD and finally I will turn on the object snap and then select that point space bar to finish okay finish next I will click on the image right click isolate high object oh not bad <laughs> uh, okay First, I will smooth it and then I can change the thickness a bit. So, double click on the pony line, select spine, okay? Space bar to finish and zoom in. I will just click here, adjust the size here. Maybe a little bit thicker here. When do the adjustment, is it better again to turn off some objects map, things like that, okay? So make it easier to do it. I think I think this is okay. So almost ready. Next, we are going to extrude the 2D knives to make it a 3D model. Okay, so I will click on the isometric view. Zoom in and extrude, select first and second one, space bar. When you extrude it, make sure it is long enough. It doesn't matter how long, just longer the better. Maybe something like that, okay? And of course, we change it to conceptual view, make it easier to see. It, okay? Then we will do 3D rotate command. So 3D rotate. I will select the side view, space bar, click on the red color axis and 90 for the 90 degree. Now you know why longer is better. You see, you don't need to move the solid around to make it intersect with the top view. Okay? Finally, the magic command is intersect. This is the most easy part. Take a look. So the intersect command is here. Okay, just click intersect and just select both one, two, and space bar to finish. Voila! You can see. The fall is done. Nicely done. Good? Easy? Okay, see you next time. Bye bye.